Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Alien Invasion RPG Idol. So, 5 days left on the Christmas event and I just wanted to make this video to share with you guys some tips and strategies about the upgrades, my personal uh, race and my personal grinding. And uh, yeah, some thoughts as well and some math as always, as you guys know, I like math. And uh, so hopefully I can share with you some of my thoughts about the overall event. Now, in case some of you may be wondering, uh, these are my stats. So I'm going to just show them right here so you can take a little bit uh, look at them. And uh, now my current progress on the Christmas event is like this. My Santa head drop is level 166. Uh, I have maxed out the evolution and my candy drop is uh, level 146. And uh, that's it. All the other things about the Santa count, the spawning time and the catching speed, are, uh, I have maxed them out. So now, what is what are the spots where hats are going to spawn? Now I'm going to start from the winter zone, so you guys can know where to look for. And remember that the best strategy for the hats is after you have collected all of them that you can easily collect, you just close the game like this, and then you reopen it. Uh, hats are going to naturally respawn after you have collected them, but don't just lose time. Just close the game, reopen it. This is going to reset the hats and therefore you can keep getting new ones. So this just speeds up the process a lot of you catching and collecting the, the hats. Now hats in the window zone are gonna spawn in these different areas. Right here at the beginning, in all this tunnel pretty much, they can spawn sometimes here at the bottom side, so sometimes you can see them right here, all right? Also here on the right side, sometimes they're gonna spawn here. Then in all this area around the winter base here, Sometimes they're also going to spawn inside the, the uh, mammoth area, but it's just more rare. Then here, close to the reactor, that's one hat by the way. In all this left area, very very common area when they're going to spawn. Then they're going to spawn right here, close to the reactor. The, uh, sorry, close to the portal. Then in the mines area, in all this side. So just make, make sure you can know where you're going to have the hats, not really by looking them but because they're going to be standing still um, and because you're not going to be able to catch them very quickly. So yeah, that's just it. In all this area, very common area where you're going to have the hats is uh, up here. Uh, then again, this is a very common area around the second window base where you're going to have the hats here on the left side and here on the right side. Don't go further because that's uh, those up here and right there and even up here, these are areas where you're never gonna have hats spawning, so don't even bother. Then here, last part where they can spawn is this top area right here. Uh, down here, sometimes they're gonna spawn in spirals close to the centipede boss. So like around here, sometimes they're gonna spawn, right? Uh, you can catch them through the walls though. And then lastly, up here, and then finally in this very large area. Uh, sometimes, as before, they're going to spawn downwards in the Mammoth area. And then that's it. These are all the spots in the Winter area where you're going to have hats spawning. So don't try to bother looking for hats. For example, in this area, you're never going to have and find hats here. Never. All this right side, don't bother. All this right side, don't bother. Here, you're never going to have hats. All this side. Here, as I said before, you might have sometimes hats. As well, don't bother looking right here. You're never gonna find hats in all this uh, side. Uh, and also here, you're never gonna have uh, uh, hats right there. And all this area 13, level 13, 14, and 15 also. You're never gonna find hats up here. So uh, yeah, I hope that this uh, will allow you to more quickly explore all the areas. Remember, in case you might not have good freezing um, resistances, just make sure you explore the areas where you can go very quick, very fast. You collect the hats and then you go back and then reset. Don't try to reach areas where you might get frozen down. You might start moving slowly. Uh, it might get too long to get the hats because like you have less range or you move slowly. So don't, don't bother. Just go to the areas where you know you can catch them quickly and then just move on, reset and go to another spot. Now, moving instead to the main area, you're gonna find hats around the main ship. So all this first part of the map right here, you can see I got already two hats. 
to hat spots, right? They're gonna give hats, but they're also hats, so <laughs> it's just weird. Uh, all this side here, or the uh, third mine, I think, this is mine, uh, small, small mid farm. All this area, you're gonna find hats, also right here, you're gonna find hats, go to the bottom, to the left. Also here in the agents area, you can find the hat sometimes here, and also here on the right side. So sometimes you're gonna find hits, hats right there. And finally, in this top area, when there are the this green, the guys are gonna give you the green eggs. Uh, right there, or even up here, yeah. Sometimes you can have hats even to this area. That's it. So don't bother looking at that top area right there, or on this left area, or on the robot area, or on the purple area right here. You're never gonna find hats in that zone, or even in this left left uh, side. So here you're never gonna have hats. Um, and yeah, that's it. So those are all the hats positioning. I know you guys might be... Um, might uh, might have this information now to be useful. So I hope you guys, I wish you guys good hunting and good collecting the hats. Just remember, once you have got all the hats that you can, reset, close the game, open it up, and again, go exploring. And that's it. So that's what you do over and over and over again. At the same time, remember to catch the Santas. Uh, and yeah, now at the, this time I've got pretty much used to be able to locate pretty easily the hats. I also have a lot of range. And that helped me to see pretty far away. You can see how zoom out the camera is from my alien. And so I can pretty easily spot the uh, the hats just because of the fact that they are gonna be standing still. I will not be able to easily get them. And so I can pretty much uh, understand where they are. If you can catch multiple hats at once, that's the best. But yeah, sometimes for that is pretty useful having pretty large range. So I don't know about that, but, uh, but yeah, so that's it. Now, in terms of hats um, ratios, so I already discussed about the value and about all that, and unfortunately, I'm very sad to announce that I've listed here down all the different upgrades, the amount of hats with each upgrade that I collected. So these are the hats collected. It's not the cost. This is the hats collected. Uh, and yeah, the ratio has stayed pretty much at 17.4%. This ratio stayed the same, 17.3 actually, it's even lower now um so yeah this hasn't changed therefore this means that i'm losing around 2.7 percent each time so um so yeah i need more and more and more hats to be even able to get one single upgrade uh, because i'm losing value you know over over time but yeah unfortunately like there is nothing i can do about that uh and uh, yeah it's just uh, how the game uh, has been programmed maybe you know i'm hoping maybe in the future for like uh, after level 180 uh, there will be a boost so again the value is going to increase exactly as the value increased at a level one, uh, 80 right the value from 9.4 percent became 17.4 like 9.3 9.4 uh, it's not exactly 9.4 but it's around that number um and then it became 17.4 i'm hoping that is gonna uh, at level 180 Right, it's gonna become 25.4. So it's gonna have another boost. And that actually is gonna be very good because of the fact that it's gonna be higher than the cost of the upgrade. And therefore that means that um, for the last 20 levels, you're gonna need less hats for each upgrade. So I hope that's gonna happen. I don't know. Uh, for the candies, it's the same. The candies uh, before level 80, the value was 6.2%, roughly. Then after level 80, it became 11.2%. Maybe after level 180, it's gonna become 16.2%. Um, so let's hope that's gonna happen. It's the only hope because otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna need a lot, lot of hats to just be able to uh, max it out. I can very easily calculate here. You can see, guys, that I need 34 more levels to get to level 200, right? And uh, I can use a very uh, easy math calculus, which is uh, this one right here. Uh, I just do this times 34 so this is the value of hats that i need every time to get actually let's do let's do even higher let's do uh 2.7 percent yeah right and then to this i have to multiply how many hats i have at the moment like how many hats i need at the moment right now which is i should have it up here i think yeah 116.7 um 
Oh, wait, what, what happened here? I don't know. Yeah, something weird happened. I'm going to just calculate again to the uh, 34 and then multiply it 116.7, which are the number of hats I need the hat spots, right, in order to get 348 trillion, which is the current cost of the upgrade. Uh, and this would make it that the very last uh, level, so in this case, it's going to be level 200, to be able to get level 200, I will need to catch 289, because it's 0 0.7, so that's 289 hat spots, just to get that last upgrade. If, of course, the percentages stay the same. So if the value is going to stay at 17.3%, roughly. Um, so, yeah, I hope that it's not going to be like that, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just uh, pretty, pretty sad. And uh, other than that, uh, oh yeah, ratios between the hat drop and the candy drop. Now here, you don't want to do this very uh, mistake that I personally did, that and that is to upgrade only the hat drop and you leave the candy drop very low. You don't want to do that. I've done some math here. I'm not entirely sure it works or it's the best. So make sure guys, you, you can test it as well. But I've seen that leaving around 20 levels difference between the hat drop and the candy drop gives me some pretty reasonable stats. And therefore I'm not losing that many hats like in getting more levels on the candy drop. But at the same time, I'm not sacrificing too many candies in order to get more hats because you need both. Remember that on the event, you actually get the rewards by collecting candies. So by collecting the Santas, not by really getting the hats. So it's true that the hats should be the priority because you need hats to upgrade the candy drop, but uh, you always also want to upgrade the candy drop as you're upgrading the hat drop. So I found this number, you know, 20 is pretty easy to remember. So just 20 levels difference, and then you go one level on the hat drop, one level on the candy drop. You just keep upgrading both, you know, at once. So hat drop and then candy drop, one, then hat, candy, hat, candy, and so forth. So that is what I've been doing. Uh, you always prioritize the hat first and then the candy. But yeah, in this way, you're still collecting, you know, as you're collecting the hats, so as you're going around collecting the hats and so forth, you're still getting some pretty nice value from the Santas in terms of candies. And remember as well that if you know you're going to be going to sleep or if you know they're going to be leaving the game FAK, you're not going to be actively getting the hats, you want to get possibly more levels on candy drop. Maybe you can get two, three earlier levels. So you can go above like the 20 uh, difference. You can maybe go up to like 17 or 16 difference, but that allows you in the idling period, in the FAK period to get as many candies as you can, because you know that you're not going to be playing, right? Uh, and that's just it. So uh, I hope you find you found these tips helpful uh, for you personally, uh, whatever stage of the game you might be at. Remember that the evolution shop, the double resources one, really helps a ton because it doubles the amount of hats, candies, uh, everything you know that you get, and it's especially useful for the events. Considering there are still five days left, I'm pretty sure that even if like you don't spend any actual money on the game, you can max it out. Um, because uh, I've calculated that if you get around 168 level of candy drop. Um, that's pretty much enough to, in two days, get up to a, a trillion uh, of, uh, sorry, not trillion, like uh, 400 billion um, candies. So that would be enough to get almost to the very last upgrade. And that's, in my opinion, like it's very good. I don't really know what that Santa catch speed is. It could be like 1 million extra catch speed, <laughs> something like that. But uh, 1 trillion is pretty uh, big. You're gonna need around like, in terms of candy drop, you're gonna need around uh, level 185, um, and you're gonna need be needing like custom farming for for two days to get to one trillion. So I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but uh, but yeah, let's see. I'm gonna try my best. I will keep on grinding. I will keep playing, and uh, and yeah, I'm gonna update you guys uh, on the next video once you know there will be one day or two days left to share with you my progress. So once again, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And see ya. Bye-bye.